Hey guys, now we will study another very simple circuit which is resistances are in parallel or parallel circuit. We will see how you can apply Ohm's law in it and what are different parameters. There are many different ways to organize a parallel circuit. In the practical world, most of the wiring is done in parallel so that the voltage to any part of the network is the same as the voltage applied to any other part of it. So in, in our houses for example, all of our connected devices like fans, like heating, lighting, air conditioning, television, AC sockets, all uh, each and everything is connected in parallel and the reason behind it, uh, this uh, connection is that each and every device is designed on certain supply voltages which is a kind of constant and if you connect the devices in parallel the supply voltages for all the devices will remain same and the required uh, value will be achieved whereas if you connect the devices in series each device will share the voltages as per its resistance that we have studied and which is not required so in the practical world all the housing circuits and all the industries you will find this circuit is used so here you can see an example we have connected here a DC source and we have connected a resistance R1 and R2 in parallel practically you can connect as many resistances in parallel as you like log of parallel circuit uh, the, reciproc the reciprocals of all individual resistances add up to the reciprocals of the total resistance circuit so in parallel if you want to find out the resistance circuit you, are, you have to use this formula reciprocal or 1 upon uh, r total total resistance of uh, divide, uh, 1 divided by total resistance is equal to 1 divided by r1 plus r2 plus r3 and so on so you can see this is the formula of total resistances if you add a resistance uh, if we have for example two resistances if we add a third resistance the total resistance of the circuit will decrease unlike in series circuit if you add a resistance, keep on adding the resistance the resistance are keep on increasing but in the parallel circuit if you add the resistance then the resistance total resistance will decrease Voltage through the circuit is the same at every point. Individual current draws throughout the circuit add up to the uh, total currents. So if you see here, the voltage here at this point for R1 is same as the voltage at R2. So voltage will remain same. Whereas the current here, I will now show you on, on the board that how it works uh, will remain changed. So let's uh, check how we can work on it so let's draw a circuit here I'm drawing a circuit here let's draw again a source this is a voltage source of 100 volts 100 volts and if we draw like three resistances again Again, I will draw three resistance. Previously, we connected three resistance in series. Not now, we are connected in parallel. This is one ohm. This is one ohm, and this is eight ohms. And you can see, we can see how much is the voltage drop across it. Vd. of each so uh, this is the total current it this is the current in resistance 1 which is i1 current in this branch is i2 current in third branch is i3 so if you apply ohm's law then i is equal to v over r so i in this branch will equal to uh, 
100 divided by 1 is equal to 100 ampere. So here current will be like 100 ampere. In this branch, because it's one home, it will be also 100 ampere. And here, if you divide V, which is 100 divided by R, so it's kind 100 divided by 8, it will be equal to 12.5 ampere. Okay, if you connect these three sources in series, the current was, as we remember, if you connect all these three circuitry in series, the current was only 10 ampere. If you connect these resistances in series. So now, let's see how will be the total current if you connect these resistances in parallel across 100 volts, same power supply. So in parallel, the voltage remains same. So, V1 voltage across resistance 1 is equal to total voltage, which is equal to V2, which is equal to V3. Okay, so all voltages are same. So, in parallel voltage remains same where the current is changing in each circuit. And you can find the total current, I total is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3, I1. Plus I2, okay, plus I3. So here you can find total current. So total current is equal to 100 plus 100, 200 plus 12.5. 12 212.5 is total current. So 212.5. Point five ampere. So if you connect the same resistances 1, 1 and 8 in parallel, so if you connect the resistances of same value in parallel, you can see we get the voltage which is equal to 212.5. So this is the example of a parallel circuit which is uh, very very simple and easy to understand here you can see uh, if you see here we have applied a Kirchhoff's current law here uh, on this note we will I will be discussing separately KCL in our next lectures just for your curiosity what is KCL just I'm briefing simply KCL is equal to current entering in the node here one current is entering in the node it here is equal to current leaving from the node so current leaving from the node here are three so three currents are leaving that is i1 plus i2 plus i3 so here three currents are leaving and one current is entering so our kcl current entering and node should equal to current leaving from the node so this is the form of kcl we have just proved the kcl here so this was all about series circuit now parallel circuit this is, this is the law that we have discussed i uh, we have solved an example here but just for your understanding i have also uh, uh, shown an example that find distance of an electrical circuit that has voltage supply of 10 volts and current of 5 milliamperes you can solve yourself and we, uh, I have also solved for, for your ease here is V is equal to 10 volts I is equal to 5 milliamperes we have calculated R which is equal to 2 kilo ohms so this was another mathematical example so I, I hope you like your my lecture will move to the next topic thank you very much